welcome back to Focal Point AFR Talk. Brian Fisher is my name. You are aboard the USS Focal Point, our patrol boat, in which we patrol the choppy waters of America's public life, looking for the coordinates where truth intersects with politics. Our commander is on the bridge. The scriptures are nautical charts. I serve as your loyal, humble, and cheerful first mate. The Holy Spirit is our navigator. Uh, delighted to welcome to our decision maker line Ann Reed, who is the wife of our distinguished producer uh, Jeff Reed, but is uh, on a uh, special mission today. Ann, welcome to Focal Point with Brian Fisher. Thank you so much for having me, Brian. You bet, Ann. And tell me where you are and what you're doing down there. Well, we are in Jackson, Mississippi, and we went today and actually um, served as the sponsor of. Um, the second go-round of the personhood amendment. It's a, um, many of, our, of your listeners, I'm sure are already familiar with it, but it's the uh, amendment to the state constitution defining uh, a person uh, as a person at the point of conception. And that's the key word in the language, I believe, Ann Wright, is that from the moment of conception, the point of conception, that child is going to be considered a person if this in, amendment is enacted into the Mississippi constitution by the voters. Absolutely. The right to life begins at conception. You know, it's interesting, Ann. Uh, and so this is sort of breaking news, really. This is the first time I think the public is hearing about this, but this is a personhood amendment. An effort was made here in the state of Mississippi uh, just a year ago, back in 2012, to run a personhood amendment. That amendment failed. The language has been slightly adjusted, as you mentioned. And let me ask you this question, Ann. So what this would do is, if I understand you correctly, this would amend the Mississippi State Constitution, define personhood from the moment of conception, give that unborn child all the constitutional rights that belong to a human being under the 14th Amendment, and that would bring virtually bring abortion to an end in the state of Mississippi, and that would be a beautiful thing. And you, you, you mentioned, uh, uh, and we talked about this before in the campaign in 2012, about the the door that the United States Supreme Court left open in the Roe v. Wade case, they actually kind of pointed to this avenue as a way to deal with the sanctity of life. Yes, actually the justice at that time said that if the um, unborn child was at some point uh, defined as a human being, that it would basically throw out that case altogether. Now, let's talk for just a second before I let you go about what's going on right now with Mississippi and abortion. Uh, everybody around the country knows that there's now just one surviving abortion clinic in the state of Mississippi. A law was passed last year, uh, signed into law by Governor Phil Bryant, who's a pro-life governor, that requires every doctor performing abortions to have admitting privileges at local hospitals and the abortion clinic in Jackson, Mississippi, their doctors were not able to do that. So Correct. by law, that abortion clinic ought to be shut down and may be shut down virtually any time in the course of the next month. That abortion clinic may be out of business. So some people may be saying, well, hey, look, uh, the abortion, last surviving abortion clinic has been shut down in that state. Why do you even need this amendment? Well, actually, in Hattiesburg, uh, a planned uh, parenthood facility is already in exist existence there, and they have recently expanded their facility. They are already offering the morning after kill and have uh, recently brought in um, the beds, and they are ready to go, from what I understand. Um, and, you know, as soon as, as far as, uh, you know, full surgical abortions, and they are ready to go. So as soon as that clinic sets, uh, you know, closes down, um, we, we expect a Planned Parenthood full abortion facility to be opening up here in Mississippi. Well, and Ann, kind of what that illustrates, and we'll kind of close with this, but what this illustrates, you're talking about what Planned Parenthood is planning to do down in Hattiesburg, just open up an abortion clinic down there. They're already tooled up to do it if this one in Jackson shuts down. It, it kind of illustrates, it seems to me, Ann, that the, the pro-abortion, the pro-death crowd, they they're determined, they're relentless, right. they, they never quit, they never give up. And it seems that we need to match that same kind of fortitude if we want to protect the sanctity of life, and this might be a way to do it. Absolutely. Um, you know, we need to be coming at it from every single angle um, and, and not quit. Our guest on our Decision Maker line has been Ann Reed, who is the sponsor of a proposed amendment to the Mississippi State Constitution that would protect babies in the womb from the moment of conception. Well, Godspeed, Ann. Thank you for taking time to be with us, and we'll be eager to uh, 
chat with you again about this as it makes its way through the process. Thank you so much, Brian. And we would just ask for uh, the prayers of your listeners as we move forward. Well, Ann, why don't we take a minute to do that right now while I've got you on the phone. Let's just take Thanks. our listening audience to prayer. Father, we do bring this proposed amendment before you. We know that you are a God of justice, a God of righteousness, a God of law. And we know that law is intended to protect human life. Our founders believed that and articulated that in the Declaration of Independence. And Lord, we bring this amendment, this proposed amendment before you. Know, you know that this is its intention, this is its purpose to protect the unalienable right to life for every baby that's conceived in this state. And we pray, Lord, that you would smile on this effort from the from from this day forward, from the from the inception of this movement. We ask that your hand of favor would rest upon Anne and all the members of the leadership team as they shepherd this amendment through the process. And we ask by your grace and by your mercy that we may find success and that every baby in this state could be protected in law from the moment of conception. We offer yeah. this to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Brian. All right, Ann, thank you. And drive uh, drive safe. Coming Will back home. Do. All right.